and welcome to another episode of Animal Search TV. Thank you for all your lovely comments, we really appreciate them. So, what's on the show today? We've another brilliant film from Cat Protection about cat behaviour. And this one, it's all about night waking. A lovely film from charity called Canine Partners, who train and supply assistance dogs. Our search team were involved in an amazing search for Amber, a Cavalier King Charles, who went missing, and the extraordinary lengths her owners went to to find her. And we announce our Hero of the Week, where we celebrate someone who has done something for animals we think needs celebrating. That's all coming up on Animal Search TV. So, as you may know, Cats Protection have made a series of films about cat behaviour, and this one is all about the issue of your cat waking you at night, and I'm sure you'll agree they can be fairly persistent at 2am in the morning. Today, Beryl and I are looking at nighttime waking behaviour. Does your cat keep you awake at night? Many cat owners are familiar with their cat trying to wake them up in the early hours of the morning. Some cats will meow at their owners or may pour at their face. And some even knock ornaments off the side. The cats are often trying to get their owners out of bed as they want something, whether it's to be fed, let outside, or they want some attention. And what do we do? We get out of bed at 5.30 a.m. to feed the cat or give them some fuss. Without realising it, we are reinforcing our cat's behaviour. As it's a successful tactic, we have trained the cat that this works and they'll try it again in another 24 hours' time. But be warned, some cats may try alternative, more demanding ways to try and wake you. If you look at the behaviour of cats in the wild, they're crepuscular, meaning they're more active during dawn and dusk. Our cats have adapted over time to fit in with our waking patterns, although most cats will be woken up at the slightest signs of dawn. So what can you do about it? The first thing is to rule out medical reasons with your vet. There's a whole variety of medical conditions that can cause waking at night, particularly if they're crying excessively, disorientated, or feel restless. This is one of the reasons why it's important not to tell your cat off if they're waking you up at night, as they could be trying to tell you that they're unwell. If there are no underlying medical causes, then finding out your cat's underlying motivation can help. It's not enough to simply ignore the behaviour, we need to provide them with a suitable outlet for this behaviour. If your cat is waking you to be fed, then try splitting your cat's daily amount of food into several smaller meals throughout the day, as well as feeding them just before going to bed. This can help to keep their blood sugar levels much more stable. Some cats may benefit from having an automatic feeder, set to open at night or in the early hours of the morning. By introducing cats to feeding toys, you can keep them occupied, so they're less likely to wake you due to boredom. Feeding enrichment toys are a fun and interesting way for cats to eat, much more so than simply out of a food bowl. It requires more thought and is therefore mentally stimulating. Always start with something really simple, such as a cardboard egg box with some of their dry food in there for them to pour out. You could try hiding a few dry biscuits around the house for your cat to hunt out at night, making great use of their sense of smell and their sensitive whiskers. Provide your cat with several play sessions throughout the day to use up excess energy so they may be more sleepy come nightfall. Interactive toys such as fishing rod toys with feathers are irresistible to most cats. Ensure they're stored safely away from your cat after the play session is over for health and safety reasons. I hope you found this interesting. Check out our website cats.org.uk forward slash behaviour for more detailed information about nighttime waking behaviour and other feline behaviours. Bye! Well done to all at Cats Protection. I want a cartoon cat, but I might have to draw a line under that. Next, we have a film from Canine Partners, a brilliant charity who are celebrating their 30th anniversary. Here's a film about Kate and her canine partner, May.
Canine Partners are running a fundraising drive called 2.6. All you have to do is to decide upon a challenge using the numbers 2 and 6. It could be 2.6 laps around your garden or 26 minutes on a trampoline. Anything. Get someone to sponsor you and give something to help train more dogs for Canine Partners. Find out more at caninepartners.org.uk. As you know, Animal Search have a brilliant missing pet search team and recently they were involved in a search for Amber, a King Charles Spaniel who went missing from home. It was a really difficult search, which was more like a classic whodunit. But as you'll see, the outcome was a great one. We're on our way to Richmond, West London, postcode GW10. We're looking for Amber. She is a red Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And if you've seen her or have any information about her sighting, please contact us on 0800 4 320 340. Thank you. We're desperately searching for our dear little dog Amber. She went missing on Friday, 6th of March, 12.35, on Eastern Road in Richmond. If you know anything about her, her location, or have seen her, please call anonymously on 0800 4320 340. We just want to bring her home. Friday the 6th at around 12.30. Uh, we just want to try and negate the fact that she may have got on the bus with a, a lady um, from this particular bus stop, uh, which is next to the Pier 1 Fish and Chip Shop on the main high street. Um, if you were in that area and you possibly were on that bus or saw someone get on that bus with Amber, please give us a phone on this telephone number on the poster. 0800 4320 340. Thank you. We've done all the triangle up here, and this side, you canvas both sides. We walk this way, come here to check it. I think if we now do these side streets, so up into Vineyard and Lancaster Park, uh, and make sure we sort of post this area to box that form sort of section on, um, and perhaps do some door to door up here as well. Yes, we were delighted when we saw that brilliant moment when Amber was cuddled by Mum. It's what the job is all about, so well done to all involved. (music) 
And finally, it's a new thing we've introduced, and it's our Hero of the Week, Q Graphic. Hero of the Week is where we celebrate someone who's done something that we think is brilliant. This week it's RSPCA Animal Collection Officer Kara who found two tiny kittens who'd been dumped. Take a look. Today I had a very cute collection and it included two baby kittens. They were approximately about eight to ten weeks old and they were found in a box in Birmingham. And um, So somebody didn't want them anymore so has dumped them in a box. Um, so the RSPCA have, uh, have gone out to collect them. And they seem to be siblings and they love each other very much. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to have lots of cuddles, because that is the key, obviously. Um, this one's very naughty and likes to uh, run at my back. Um, we're going to have lots of cuddles, and then what we're going to do is, we're going to transfer them now to a rehoming centre. Um, unfortunately, all our rehoming centres are closed at the moment um, to members of the public, just while this pandemic's going on. Um, but as soon as we're able to, we'll be able to put them up for rehoming and hopefully we might find them a new home together because we do like to rehome siblings if we can. No, it's okay. So yeah, lots of cuddles and then we're going to transfer them now to a rehoming centre. Well done, Cara. These guys are still working and doing all they can to make a difference and we are told the kittens are doing really well. Cara, you're our hero of the week. Don't forget, we've got a podcast you can download on iTunes and Spotify. And if there's anything you think that we should show, animal or pet related, then get in touch and we will gladly put it in the next episode. That's it for this week. Please remember to like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.